All right, happy Thursday, everybody. Before we get into our data for the day, uh, I just got a little tip for you, a little two-word tip. You ready for it? Holy cannoli. <laughs> That's right. Holy cannoli to win the Fern Creek Derby. I bet all I have, but I digress. Hey, we're uh, going to get into some great data. Um, I... I I just keep saying it over and over and over again that this is a season of, of amazing blessing. You know, our, our weekly need is about 23,000. And again, we're turning off the lights and, you know, turning down the temperature and, and uh, saving as much as we can, just trying to be good stewards. But you keep giving. So, uh, you know, a budget need of 23,000. And again, you blew that away, 27,346. So you just keep giving and you keep blessing. And that allows us to keep giving and to keep blessing. Um, our handle a couple weeks ago was we were giving out 200 envelopes. And I needed, you know, Leonidas had his 300 Spartans. We needed our 200 Fern Creekers, right? And it was kind of a top secret mission. We didn't want to tell you what was in the envelopes, but I think I can tell you now. What we put in there was $25, right? So 200 envelopes, $25. We, we took $5,000 out, uh, out of the money from the church and we gave it to you. And we just said, be generous with it. Go bless somebody. Go make somebody's day. Pray. Holy Spirit, show me who to bless. We encourage you to add, add a little bit to that. And you have been blessing people. You've been lighting Louisville up all over the place. Just to, just to give you a little bit of, a, of an update, check this out. Envelope number six went to a next door neighbor who has a disability. Envelope 41 went to a young mom who was battling breast cancer. Envelope 15 went to an unsung hero at Fraser Rehab who cleans the patient rooms and the nurse, uh, nursing stations. Envelope 56 went to a 21-year-old whose mom recently passed away. Envelope 115 went to a, a nurse who's not only taking care of her young son, she's taking care of three other boys. So... Story after story after story after story about how God put people on your heart to just be generous with. So again, thanks for being a generous people. We pray that these acts of generosity will, will reap a harvest for the Lord, that people would praise Him. So that's pretty pretty awesome. So thanks for helping us light up the vill. Um, hey, uh, actually, you know, we, we're, we're, uh, we, we film information Thursdays on Wednesday, actually, right? So... Um, so today, uh, we fed 100 people at, uh, at Baptist Health. I think there were five units that we, uh, we had lunch catered to. So again, just telling them thanks for what you do. We love you. We're praying for you. So again, thanks for being such a generous people. And I'm so proud of our church for reaching out and shining their light. Um, f five verses, five verses. Uh, we're going through the Lord's Prayer on Sunday, and we're asking you to memorize it. Right, Matthew chapter 6, the Lord's Prayer. So how are you doing on your memory work? We're going old school King James English. So again, this Sunday we're going to get together. And before we start the sermon, we're going to say that from memory. So uh, get your Matthew 6, King James version of those five verses. And, 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 and just see if you can't memorize those so you'll be ready on Sunday. And then lastly, lastly, Mother's Day is coming up. And it's like, man, what are we going to do for our moms? We're all quarantined. We can't get out. Well... We've thought of something uh, just for you. So we're going to give you a kind of a, a little announcement here in a couple of days. Uh, we have a gift that we want you to pick up for your mama. Uh, you might not know a mama on the street, not your mama, but someone else's mama. Or, or maybe your mom's no longer with us. I still think the gift that we're going to give to you could, could really be used in a very special way on Mother's Day. So stay tuned for some information. Fern Creek, thanks for being the church. Look forward to seeing you on Sunday.